Hi, my name is Susanna Mills, and I'm the deputy editor of the American Philatelist for the American Philatelic Society. One of the standout articles in the September issue of the American Philatelist uh, for me was Decimal Day in the United Kingdom, and that's by Kevin Hans. What I really enjoyed about Decimal Day was that Kevin covered a very uh, difficult topic, which was the decimalization of currency in the United Kingdom uh, in a very interesting way. Uh, for example, it involves a lot of math, this shift from pounds, shillings, and pence to a decimal-based pounds and pence system, uh, but he really offers a lot of context. And then also, because this happened all in one day, there are a lot of fascinating postal history items that are attached to this topic, which he covers really, really interestingly, I think. So actually, this, the September issue was a little bit different than our normal issues, in part because um, I was sick for about 80% of the development of the issue. So we were luckily able to draw on the assistance of Jeff Stage and Doris Wilson. And they're also former members of the APS editorial team. And their help was essential to making this issue happen. Um, and they did really excellent work and we're very grateful. I would say the September issue is varied. Uh, we have a lot of articles that cover a wide expanse of topics. For example, we stay in the U.S. for some, but we also uh, go out and see, uh, go internationally and see the world through stamps and postal history. Uh, we cover more modern issues and we cover more classic issues. We cover postal history and just stamps. And also we give a wide variety of information from the American Philatelic Society, from the directors of our different departments, and they have both news to offer and also helpful information that can help you in your collecting interests. One area that we do like to publish a fair amount of articles in is more modern US stamps and postal history. If you have a collecting interest in that area, we encourage you to submit an article and we have instructions about how to submit an article to the AP and that is at aps.buzz slash write AP. I am personally really looking forward to the January issue and that is going to be a uh, a total guide to using catalogs, and those could be specialized catalogs, the more generalized catalogs like Scott, Mickel, etc. Um, and the reason why this is so exciting is because these are resources that we as philatelists use constantly, but there's always more to learn. When I first started learning about philately myself, uh, one of the first things that I looked to was the Scott Catalog, and it was a bit of a learning curve to understand how it worked and to be able to use it effectively. So this, this issue is going to help people access catalogs, use these resources, and hopefully introduce you, whether you're a beginner or an expert, to something that you've never seen before.